Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And yes, fast switching. Gotta disable that. Especially if you're customizing your Windows 10 machine. You don't really need fast switching accounts on the start menu. So what is fast switching? So fast switching is basically when you click on start and you click on your little uh, account right here, the name, you're gonna get the accounts that are able to log into your machine. Now, let's say I'm logged in and my son wants to use the machine. He could go in here pick his name and log in as himself while my account is still logged in. So that means there's two people logged into the machine. I don't want that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to disable these fast switching accounts. Now it really depends on how you're doing it or where you're doing it because Home Edition, uh, you gotta do a registry hack. If you're doing enterprise and professional, most likely you're customizing your Windows 10 machine to deploy to your users. You could do a group policy or a registry hack. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it within the registry hack version. So what we're going to do is a Windows R. From here, we want to do a reg edit, and we're going to hit enter. You're going to get the nice uh, user account control. Just click on yes. And the path that we need to get into is the following. We need to get into the local machine. Uh, local machine we need to get into software software Microsoft and let's expand this a little bit and within Microsoft we want to get into Windows where's the Windows folder Windows current version expand that we want to get into the policies where's the policies there it goes and within policies we want to get into system now within systems, you need to create a new uh, D word. So what we're gonna do is right click on it, new, and we're going to create a new D word 32 bit value. And the name that you're gonna do is capital H hide, right? Fast with a capital F, user capital U, switching with a capital S. And make sure you spell it right, hit enter. Now by default it's set to zero, which is enabled, but we're going to set it to one because we want to disable it and click OK. And then we are going to close this. Now if I go to start and I click on my name, it's still there. So we need to do is a restart or you could log off. So I'm going to just sign out. Okay, so once you're signed in, we are going to click on start. We're going to click on my name right here and fast switching is disabled. Now the other way, if you're doing this globally, you could do it as a GPO, group policy, which is pretty easy for us admins. What we're gonna do is a Windows R command, and we're gonna do is a gpedit.msc, Microsoft console, and we're going to just double click on that to expand, and we're gonna just drag this a little bit. Now, the location that we need to get into is within the computer configuration, because again, this is a computer configuration setting that we need to do. Uh, we need to get into the administrative templates. Within administrative templates, we need to go into system. And within system, there is a folder called login. Awesome. And within login, there is a option that says hide. Here it goes. Hide entry points for fast switching. Okay. By default, it's not configured. So uh, what you want to do is just enable it. Okay. Like I says, if you enable this poly setting, the switch user interface is hidden from the user who is attempting to log in or is logged on to the computer that has a policy applied, right? So this is what you want. You want to enable it. You can do it as a group policy and it pushes out no problem. Or you could do a registry hack. I'd rather do it as a global policy because it's a little cleaner, easy to manage. If it doesn't work out, I'm always able to push it back and disable it within the group policy, global setting. If it's a registry hack, that's just more work, Ugh, right? So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next Windows 10 tip. Peace out.